Recently, um, I decided to prioritise powerlifting uh, in my training. So I had been doing a bit of powerlifting, a bit of bodybuilding, but I hadn't really been, hadn't really been doing anything uh, serious. I'm going to join the GBPF, which is the Great British Great Britain Powerlifting Federation. But yeah, that is very much now my training goal. I want to go to that meet. I want to lift some big PRs, and I want to win the gold medal. That is my that is my aim. Every three weeks, my training max, the, the volume I'm working at is gonna increase. Because it isn't too optimistic, it means you're always gonna hit your numbers. With building strength, consistency is really, really important. I've had periods in the past where I've built a, a lot of strength in a short period of time, but then inevitably, uh, because I'm trying to push it too much, I end up failing. It's slow, it's small steps, but it means you are constantly progressing, and in a year's time, you're gonna be a lot, lot stronger. I'm gonna be a lot stronger than I was than you were at the start. So before I even did the lift, they'd already red lighted me for my bum lifting. So I got the first one, but obviously it didn't count because I lifted my bum beforehand. I wanted to go up to 165 because I didn't want to waste an attempt at 160 again. Uh, the problem was then, I was really scared of lifting my bum in my setup. So I was setting up really restricted and I didn't have my, my normal arch. So when I was bringing the bar down, it was in the complete wrong place on my chest and it just felt like a different lift. It felt horrendous, I had nothing there. I was nowhere near getting those. There was a medal there for me today and I just completely friggin' threw it away. So it's very, very frustrating. Like, it's pretty hard to take, but it's my own fault. You know, I'm an idiot, it's my own fault. I take responsibility. Like, yeah, I just, the bench press killed me. You know, missing that bench press, like, it just completely threw me off. I had been, like I said, thinking about it for a little while. Um, you know, the British champs didn't help, and of course, I felt pretty, like, awful after that. But I don't think I am going to give up. Like, I don't think I am, but it's still something that I am contemplating. Ultimately, for me, I'm the kind of person that I really want to be successful. I really want to be the best at whatever I do, you know? Now, for me to continue getting stronger and to be, like, really truthfully, like, successful as a powerlifter, I need to be heavier. I don't think it's possible. Like, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I spent almost, I think almost two years bulking, eating like pretty much 6,000 calories a day. Now, it wasn't sustainable, and I got to the point where I was being sick like most days, and I don't want to commit more time. Like, don't get me wrong, it is a massive, massive commitment. You know, like training, training every day and, and building up to competitions is, you know, you have to sacrifice a lot of things that I would, I would have loved to be going and doing. You know? 